I want Britain to be about British. I want Britain to be about British. Because you've got the Muslimic infidels trying to put their laws down on this Britain. They're trying to put their laws, the Muslimic laws, down on this Britain. But if they put their laws down on this Britain, then it won't be our country anymore, will it? Oh, I'd never cope in a work-related environment, me. No, 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 no. No, you'd be better off leaving me at home, putting regular money into my bank account, and then just employing a couple of polls. Plus, I typed my symptoms into Google last night, right? And it came back saying I had three types of cancer, AIDS, and was in urgent need of a hysterectomy. Whatever that is. When people ask where I'm from and I say Dulbury, they tend to laugh. Yes, there's gang culture. Yes, we're voted as being one of the worst places to live in the UK. And yes, on average, there are more inbred families living in Dulbury than the rest of the UK. But some of us are trying to change all that. And you know your town has a problem with teenage pregnancy. When you see a banner outside Aldi that says, Happy 32nd birthday, Nana. I was watching a piece on the news the other night, right? And I thought, oh, doesn't that place look nice compared to Dulbury? I wonder where that is. I wish I lived there. Guess where it was? North Korea. I'm getting sick of Britain now. And I'm thinking of finding a new country. I'm going to look at a map of the world wide web and I'm going to find a new country for me. But when I look at a country for me, like Italy, Germany or French, they just say no. But want Brexit supposed to make things easier? I've heard Dubai would take me no problems at. And in Dubai, taxes are so low, it means I wouldn't be forced to pay for their stuff, would I? Because I shouldn't have to pay for their stuff, should I? It's not my country, is it? Me and some of the locals set up a youth club a few years back. You know, we were that determined to make a change. We were only open for the one night initially, though. I might have made a joke to one of the mums that... If we were to accidentally leave the gas cooker on as the kids watched a film and lit a match, it would pretty much solve Dilbury's antisocial behaviour problem in one fell swoop. I was obviously only joking, but I can see how, looking back, I made it sound like I'd just reopened Auschwitz. When my doctor told me, finally, I had IBS, it was a big relief. It's guaranteed security for life. When I found out, right, I jumped on my bike and I rode straight down to that job centre as fast as I could to get the incapacity benefits application form. It's an awful disease, the IBS. Every day is a shit day. And I suppose it means I'll forever be on a cocktail of ibuprofen, paracetamol and Kellogg's fruits and fibre, but when you get a free house out of it, you can't complain, can you? Everyone always says that Britain first and the EDL single out weak people in society and then they alienate them. But when have I ever compared anyone to an alien? They get them to sing bar bar rainbow sheep in school these days. Now, I don't know how many rainbow sheep you've come across recently, but that's an indication to me that our country is well and truly <laughs> I'm going to keep singing the original versions. I don't give a f Put me in jail if you like, but let me tell you, you'll look like the daft ones when I get sent down for not singing about multicoloured sheep. It's me again. If you could like it and subscribe it, that would be good.